Welcome back guys, this is Raziel Gamer for Fun and I will show you the second part of my videos about the buffed and nerf hybrids of the current patch. So let's do this. Okay guys, first I will talk about the Tyrosaur hybrids. Okay, I will talk first about the legendary Sucoripterus. Yes. yes, the Sucoripterus is a combination of Sucumimus and Sungaripterus. Okay, this guy is one of that need a big, big improvement because that look at the stats. That are the world stats of a le legendary hybrid. Okay, I will show you now the new stats on the current patch. Well, of course, it's really now buffed, but it's really uh, worth it now. Well, I think if it has like 4,000 of health, it's better, of course, and well, the attack is not too much, maybe because uh, Sukumaimus is a um, carnivore with more health, so it's tanky, but at least it's better now, of course. Okay, the second pterosaur hybrid is Tropiogopterus, this super rare hybrid is a combination of Tropiognatus and Seyangopterus, yes. You know, it's, it, that before that patch, it has uh, good stats, yes, but we can see now the new stats. What's up? <laughs> of course, it's really nerfed. Yeah, I know, Owen, I know. This guy, I, I don't know, I, I think this guy don't, don't need to be nerfed. Okay, uh, now we can compare Sucoripterus and Tropiogopterus. Okay, the reason I think Tropiogopterus is nerfed now, or uh, was nerfed, because Sucoripterus now have 3,000, like 4,000 of health, and 1,000 approximately of damage. But look this, Tropiogopterus Ha, um, had 900 of damage. It's too close to Sucoripterus. But this is not the only reason. So I will show you now the Spinoraptor stats. It's, it's too a super rare hybrid. Mm. So what is the meaning of that? Look at the stats. It, it has a, a big difference of it. So I will show you now <laughs> the Carnot Raptor final stats. What's the meaning of that? A rare with more stats than a super rare hybrid. So what is the reason of that, Ludia? Well, <laughs> well, I explained you now that. Okay, we know the Tropiogopterus composition is Tropiognatus and Seyangopterus, okay? Tropiognatus and Seyangopterus cost like 1,280 DNA. That is the cost of that Dinos, okay? So let's compare with the cost of Spinosaurus and Eutheraptor. It's like 1,700 DNA. So, of course, this is a big difference right now, right here. Okay. And now we can see the cost of Carnotaurus and Pyroraptor together. So, it's 1,380 DNA. So, that difference of 100 put the difference of on the stats, okay? But I think um, 
is a little um, OP right now. Okay, Colonel Raptor need a little nerf. Yes, you need to be fair. A super rare hybrid need to be stronger that than a super uh, sorry a rare hybrid like Colonel Raptor. Okay, but in this case, Ludia. Uh, take uh, the DNA in mind so Spinoraptor will be stronger than Tropiogopterus because the cost of DNA that is the difference and Carnoraptor is better now than Tropiogopterus because that too the DNA is better it costs more okay but I think I said I said that uh, before Ludia need to nerf Carnoraptor and buff Tropiogopterus. To be fair, it's a super rare hybrid, come on Ludia. Okay, now we have two new hybrids. It's a good thing, of course. Good job, Ludia. And these, these hybrids are common. Look, this the first common hybrid, Pelecanipteris. Pelecanipteris, the combination of Pelecanimimus or Pelecanim Pelecanimimus also something like that <laughs> and Hatsegopteris okay it's a good a good common hybrid it looks at the stats is like uh, the half of the Tropiogopterus stats okay it's, it's a good common hybrid it's the, the best common hybrid right now I will show you now the another new hybrid is Limnorhynchus, something like that in English. <laughs> and this is a new hybrid, common hybrid. It has less stats than Pelicanipteris. Well, I, this is the same reason of uh, Tropiogopterus and Spinoraptor. It, it costs more to make a Pelicanipteris. That is the reason she has more or better stats than Limnorhynchus, okay? Okay guys, I will talk about the last class of hybrids land hybrids of course we, we will have the aquatic hybrids in the future so well in this case the powerful amphibians yes you know them well first I will show you the legendary Kulasaurus this guy is a combination of Kulasukus and Sarkosukus it has it had a good stats look 4,000 of health and 1,600 of damage. Come on, it it was good stats. But now in the current patch we see they nerf Colasaurus. Yeah, yeah, oh, well, I know. They nerf him. They nerf. They nerf her. Sorry. Why? Why is the reason of that? Well, the reason, again, is the DNA cost. Okay, I will show you now in Dominus stats. Okay, and then I will show you Sucoripterus stats. The composition of Kulasaurus is a legendary and a rare. The composition of Indominus is a legendary and a super rare. And the Sucoripterus, legendary and rare. Okay, that is the difference right here. That is the, the reason of the difference of stats. Okay, I will show you the DNA cost of Kulasaurus. 3660 DNA. Okay, now in Dominus cost. Whoa, it's a big difference, right? 5250 DNA of cost. Okay, 
and Sucoripterus cost is less cost than Colasaurus, 3,190 DNA. So that is the reason that better stat is more that cost. Okay, you need to take in mind that that is the reason Lucia put more stats on some dino. Poor Colasaurus. <laughs> but well. Now I will talk about the Plotator, the rare hybrid. Well, this hybrid is a composition of Diplocaulus and Irritator. Yes, it has a low cost of DNA. That is the reason they only buff a little, like a T-Rex right now, legendary T-Rex at level 40. But it's good, I think it's good because it only costs like, well, Diplote, well, like 600, 700, something, something like that. And compared with the Carnor Raptor, of course, is like the, the half of that cost. So that is the reason Carnor Raptor have more or that twice of the stats of Diplotator, okay? Okay, guys? Well, I think Ludia did it well here. He they buffed a little Diplotator. It's good for that cost of DNA. It's good. Okay, guys. So the last of the hybrids will be the new hybrid Ostaposaurus. Yes, Ostaposaurus is a good, good amphibian. The better now, the better amphibian now, sorry Kulasaurus, but now Staposaurus is the queen of amphibians, yes. And I think maybe it's the queen of the Jurassic World again, because Staposaurus versus Priotrudon, of course Staposaurus will win. Yes, okay, take that in mind. So, but... You can realize now that we only have three, three hybrid, three amphibian hybrids. We need more, Ludia. We need more. Come on. Come on, Ludia. I need to see more of the amphibian hybrids. This is a, an example in Trojangostega. Uh, that's combination of Trojangosaurus and Ichthyostega. It's an example. You can you can do it, please. <laughs> you can do it, but I I need to I need to watch more of that amphibian hybrid. I like it so much. So Ludia, please take that in mind. We want more hybrids, common hybrids, super rare hy hybrids, legendary hybrids, and for the future, I want to see that. Tournament Dinos hybrids. It will be awesome. That stats will be like 10,000 of health and and 5,000 uh, of damage. Oh my god. It will be awesome that moment. So please do it, Ludia. Do it. Just do it, please. Okay? Okay, guys. I hope you like this video. So please Share this video with your friends. Please give me a like. Leave me a like, please. It will help me so much. I want to do more hybrids, more more videos. And I want to do more gameplay uh, later. So please, please guys, share with your friends, like and subscribe to my channel, please. So, see you later. Bye-bye.